The Wrath of the Tyrant. <laughs> Before we start, um, I often get asked what picks I'm using. Today I'm using this bad boy, which is just an Altex Sharp 1.4. So we're in standard tuning and we are tremolo picking on the bottom E string and the A string. And the fingering on the A is 2, 3, 5. And then we're going to play a power chord on the third fret of the bottom string and then the second fret of the bottom string. Okay, so that bit slowly. And then we're gonna play open bottom string again, two, three, two on the A. And then power chords on the bottom string, three, two, six. So. Let's just do the whole thing slowly. So at the end of this riff, we're just gonna stay on the sixth fret power chord. this riff. So again we're tremolo picking here and we're on the bottom string and we're going to play fret 4, 2, 4, 5, 2 of the A back down to 5 of the E. 4, 2 of the E, then on the bottom string again, 1, open, 1, 2, 2, 1, 2, 3, so slowly. the same thing but an octave higher so on the D string six four six seven four of the G back down to seven of the D six four of the D and then three two three four Four three, four five. Okay, so once you played that through a few times, we just got some power chords. And again, we're just going to tremolo pick those, and the power chords are all on the the power chords are all on the A string. We're going to play four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, up to twelve. <laughs> Then 
So again, we're just tremolo picking and we are on the A string, fret 12 power chord. And then we're gonna play 12 of the A and 13 of the D. Then we do the same picking pattern. We're gonna come down to fret eight of the A with a power chord. And then fret nine on the D. So this one stays on eight of the A, nine of the D. And then you just repeat those two. I've watched the live version as well, and it seems as though one guitar continues there, the other one plays the same thing, but on the bottom string. And that's just a power chord on five of the bottom string, and then five on the bottom string and six of the A. And then one on the bottom string, power chord. And then one on the bottom string and two on the A. I hope you're enjoying this lesson. If you are, make sure you check out my black metal guitar course. I'll put a link in the description. So at the end of this riff, we're just going to finish on an 8th fret power chord. And then we're going to go back into the opening riff that we've already played. The song just finishes on an open bottom string power chord. And that is the end of the song.